Amateurs have a great appetite for antenna books, and here's a new one that's just come out. International Antennas is published jointly by the RSGB and the ARRL. The book is very similar to the ARRL's Antenna Compendium books, with which you might be familiar. These are a selection of articles from QST. International Antennas are similar, but the articles are from different countries, mostly the US, the UK and Australia. As it says on the back, it's an emphasis on the practical rather than the theoretical. A great thing about books like this is even though you might not build the antenna described, it might give you some ideas or even motivation to go off and design your own antenna projects. In its 170 pages, there are some 50 articles and many more ideas. Just having a look inside, there's the index, a brief preface, and straight on to the articles. Most have between two and four pages. The illustrations are of good quality and diagrams easy to read. But you will notice a mix of imperial and metric units, an American and British spelling, due to the different sources of the articles. There's no glossary at the back, but there is a handy antenna selection index. Across the top of the various bands that there's antennas described in this book for. And down the side is the page number. So if you're looking at antennas for a particular band, it's easy to find all the articles that would be relevant. Having a look at the balance of articles, it's a mixture of fixed and portable antennas. And mostly applying for the middle HF bands. But there are still articles of interest on frequencies anywhere between 137 kilohertz and 432 megahertz. There's plenty of photos and diagrams and the text was easy to read. Amateurs can never have too many antenna books and international antennas would be a worthy addition to your collection. As to where to get it, I saw it on the RSGB site for £14.99. Flicking over to the ARRL site, I saw a similarly named volume called International Antenna Collection Volume 1. Also jointly published by RSGB and ARRL, that came out back in 2003. Another thing, don't forget the next QRP by the Bay. Normally in February and November, this year we're trying one in June. QRP by the Bay is a gathering of home brewers and QRPers and we hope the weather will hold up to make this one a success.